Ovarian conditions can influence a woman's entire life. An important biomarker plays a key role during this journey. AMH, the anti-malarian hormone, is expressed in the follicles of females of reproductive age and inhibits the transition of follicles from primordial to primary stages. AMH expression is critical to sex differentiation during fetal development. In the male fetus, AMH and testosterone secretion induce the development of male internal anatomy, while lack of AMH in the female fetus leads to the development of female internal anatomy. AMH levels vary over the course of a woman's life. Levels peak around the age of 25. This is followed by a steady decline to undetectable levels at an average age of 50 to 51 years, corresponding to the menopause. Pathological factors may cause changes in AMH levels. Chemotherapy, radiation, gonadotropin administration, and oophorectomy may be associated with decreased AMH levels due to the risk of damage to the ovaries. Polycystic ovary syndrome and granulosa cell tumors increase AMH levels. Such pathological changes could support clinical applications in several areas. For example, ovarian reserve, menopause status, ambiguous genitalia, granulosa cell tumor, polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, and in vitro fertilization, IVF. AMH levels in the blood correlate with the total number of primordial follicles. Unlike other biomarkers for ovarian reserve assessment, AMH levels only fluctuate slightly during normal menstrual cycles, which makes AMH an ideal biomarker of ovarian reserve. About one in six couples worldwide experience infertility. In vitro fertilization, IVF, is a type of assisted reproductive technology used for infertility treatment and gestational surrogacy. The key step in IVF is to predict ovarian response to stimulation. AMH has a very strong correlation with ovarian response after stimulation, so it can be used as a predictive biomarker. In the normal folliculogenesis process, a recruited primordial follicle develops into a specialized graphene follicle. After that, ovulation takes place. However, women with PCOS have an increased number of small antral follicles producing AMH. The serum AMH level is two to three-fold higher among women with PCOS than among normal ovulatory women. In granulosa cell cancer, AMH can be used to evaluate the effectiveness of treatment. Serial sampling after initial treatment can monitor therapy effectiveness and detect recurrence. In summary, AMH is a valuable marker for comprehensive clinical applications covering ovarian reserve assessment, in vitro fertilization, IVF, polycystic ovaries, tumor markers, and sex development assessment.